Hey, hey, friends. Welcome, everyone, to the Amazon Files podcast brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and I want to talk about the Amazon train today. The Amazon train. What does that mean? Well, it's not a real thing. Amazon doesn't actually have a train. This is just what I call it, Amazon. The money-making train, right? The train that goes and goes and is full of multiple cars and multiple ways to make money on the Amazon train. There's different ways, obviously ones that you guys are very familiar with, actually selling product on Amazon, retail, arbitrage, wholesale, private label, product, inventory based business, right? So that's one of the train cars of the Amazon train. And then you've got the live selling. Now Amazon has influencers and people that are doing a QVC style live selling, promoting specific products. So influencer style selling on Amazon. There's KDP, which is Kindle Direct Publishing, which means that you can self-publish books and workbooks and materials and now I think some video and they are really I used to joke that Amazon's trying to take over the world and I'm not kidding like that it, it seems like a joke and that's what I'm saying but I really think that's their goal they want to have their hand in every cookie jar that's available in the e-commerce and e-commerce world and space and they've done a pretty good job at building a giant empire for themselves over at Amazon, right? So there's different train cars. You've got wholesale, you've got retail arbitrage, you may making your own wholesale bundles as a form of a private label. There's private label brands, big corporations that are now bringing their products to Amazon. There's Amazon Prime, where people are independently producing film and movies and music. And Amazon is now in fulfillment. Did you know that you don't have to sell on Amazon to use fulfillment by Amazon. Did you know this? Like most people don't know. If you have your own Shopify store and you want Amazon to fulfill your products, you don't have to list your items on Amazon for them to fulfill them. You can use them as a warehouse. So just there's a lot of different things that you can do to fulfill by Amazon and use all of their different services, AWS services, offering software and apps and all kinds of sure there's ways to make money with Amazon affiliate stores. So there's influencers out there that the only thing they do is talk about amazing products and make videos and make Pinterest pins and make articles and videos and TikToks all about products on Amazon. And they only make money with their affiliate commission. If I go buy that thing from TikTok, they get 10 cents. So if they do that to a million people they have 10 cents a million times right so they build their stores affiliate wise with amazon so amazon has so many different ways to be able to make money within their infrastructure and i think it's the best and biggest platform out there now there's some competitors walmart is going to be if not if it is already the biggest competitor for amazon and for e-commerce out there right now i've said this for years and now they're finally getting their stuff together in a bigger way and walmart is going to be amazon's biggest rival and competitor in years to come so yeah they will have competition they will have things but even jeff bezos Many years ago, before his exit of Amazon or for him stepping down as uh, CEO or whatever else, he said in an interview, Amazon will not always be Amazon. And to hear that from a CEO building a billion dollar company in the height of what he was doing, to hear him say that is so eye opening because he said that years ago, not now, not in the last couple of years when he left Amazon and doing other things or whatever. He literally said that at the peak of Amazon, just, oh, this won't always be. To me, that's one of the most brilliant things that he ever said, actually. Because if we're realistic about things, we know that technology and things move stuff so fast that something that was amazingly thriving and making millions of dollars a decade ago is no longer. So think about, Blockbuster video. This is my prime example. Blockbuster video, everybody, it was a household name. There was one on every single corner. Everybody went to Blockbuster. In my day, my weekends when I was younger, a young kid, my dad was a huge movie buff. And on the weekends, we didn't have cable TV. We didn't have any of that. He had Blockbuster. And on Paycheck Friday, we went to Blockbuster. And my sister and I got to pick one movie each, maybe, if it was a two for one. But, or we had to share picking a movie, which always caused fights. But he got to, he picked like six movies and he spent the weekends either cleaning the house or watching movies. He just really liked to watch different movies and things would come out and he watched these movies. Okay. 
blockbuster video it is a sign of my childhood it is a recognizable if you guys saw the logo without the even words on it you'd be like i know what that is right if you're from my generation or earlier so blockbuster video big deal huge deal the cassette tape same thing right it was the only way to make the one of several tiny ways to make money uh, or to make music i'm sorry to make music and distribute it right was a cassette tapes the average joe the average person could go and buy a single or a cassette tape or a recording and these are things that have gone by the wayside right these are things that were really successful and amazing in their time but they had a beginning and an end they didn't necessarily have an evolution a cassette tape is nothing like a cd it is nothing a cd is nothing like spotify right or apple music or podcast or digital listening right Amazon is still right now today the biggest and best platform to sell products on our planets right globally you can reach a global audience if you sell something on Amazon and I believe that wholesale bundles the way I do Amazon the way I have done Amazon is the best option because it combines some of the stability of wholesale and some of the profitability of private label. So wholesale bundle still in my personal experience is one of the best ways to make money on Amazon. You're bringing creativity, you're bringing branding, you're bringing a combination of products that other people aren't bringing. You have the safety of wholesale, but the credibility and scalability of a private label kind of brand, right? So I still think that wholesale bundles are awesome and even regular bundles are awesome. Bundles work for private label sellers, for brands, for creators, for the wholesale business, and even for retail arbitrage. I have a recent client that has been doing nothing but beta testing, but bundles, even with retail arbitrage, they do beta testing. Maybe you send six to 10 bundles from a retail store and you decide if this is worth it. And if it is, then you go deep and you can get wholesale suppliers and whatnot. So bundles work for anybody in the Amazon product industry, whether you're a wholesale client, whether you're doing arbitrage, it still works. People are creating bundles and doing amazing. Just recently talked to someone who's beta testing and she sold out. And so she's now I need the wholesale supplier because I'm buying this at such and such store, but they only have X amount at a time. So we worked out some strategies for her to number one, contact the manager and say, hey, can you order these in case quantities because I want to buy all of them and building that partnership, but also her going directly to the source and saying, hey, I've been selling these consistently in my gift basket for three months and I've been buying them at one of your retailers and I'd like to become a, a distributor myself so that I can sell more of these in larger quantities. And usually wholesalers say, sure, thank you for your business. So I've spent the last 20 years in e-commerce, building my e-commerce business, my empire, if you will. I don't really like that word because I think of like Roman empire and I'm like a little map dot when it comes to that. But the last 20 years of e-commerce, and I've seen so many changes from that first sale on eBay in 2003 fast forwarding to 2024 and my most recent sales in brand new platforms that didn't even exist a few years ago. The landscape for reselling and for online e-commerce and entrepreneurs is just, it's mind blowing to see all of the new opportunities and the creativity of the entrepreneurs who come up with the next latest app to adopt something cool and something neat. And it might not last long, but it can still be awesome even if it runs its course. Like Blockbuster, when I was a kid, it was so cool. And we'd beg my dad to buy candy and can we get the two for one movies? And if we go on a Tuesday, it's 99 cent day. But we did that and that was great for a time. But now if someone says, hey, you guys want to check out Blockbuster Video? Most people are like, who is that? Like our kids would be like, what are you doing? What is Blockbuster Video? They would think it's an app of some sort. <laughs> it's not. So you can see how things evolve and change and grow over time. And Amazon started in Jeff Bezos' basement or his garage or wherever it is. And now it's this multi-billion dollar global empire. Like I love a starter story, right? Because starter stories are just like from humble beginnings to I never could have dreamed this up if I tried. Amazon and e-commerce and, and the Amazon train is awesome, quite frankly.
what they've built and what they're doing and what they're doing to adapt the technology and the live selling that y'all, did you know that they, I haven't been able to say this because I've been under non disclosure agreements. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's where you sign papers that say you won't tell anybody about what you're about to discover because they want to show you what's behind the curtain. So not too long ago, Amazon reached out to me and they said, we would love for you to be part of our influencer space. They wanted me, they wanted me to come to Amazon Studios or build my own studio or go to a local studio and kind of sell products live stream QVC style. They saw me online. They saw me teaching Amazon. Their team reached out to me and said, we want you to be one of our personalities, right? Kind of that sort of thing. And I still can't give you more details than what I'm giving you now because they made me sign non-disclosures. But during that, those talks with the Amazon people, I just realized in the moment that number one, I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> so it's difficult. I love partnering with people and being bringing amazing ideas together, but I didn't but I haven't really ever worked in a setting where I had a major boss telling me what to do. I'm the boss, I'm the CEO, I'm the janitor, I'm the, the window washer, I'm the paper shredder, I'm the thing. And with that, I thought maybe I'd like to, to explore some of these other opportunities that I've been offered in, in multiple places. So Amazon offered me this opportunity to be one of their influencers, one of their kind of personalities. I don't know. They did. They, they talked about that in later meetings, but after a, a lot of initial meetings with them and talking about the things and what they expected and my experience with working with Amazon as a company in general, I declined their proposal. Not once, not twice, but three times. They knocked on my door. We had some meetings. I said, let me think about it. I thought about it. I said, no. They came back to me a few months later. Are you sure? We revamped the program. We have this. I looked at the new stuff. I said, no. And finally, I closed the door completely on the third one and just said, okay, that's fine. See, the reality is that the Amazon train is amazing and they keep adding cars and they keep going full steam ahead into the future and they're very forward thinking and they have a huge budget and teams and all that kind of stuff. And this wasn't really like a financial decision, although they offered a significant number that would have been satisfying um, to do what they're they wanting me to do. But I said no. And I said, no, because I have to be true to me and to myself and to what I value and to what's important to me and to what excites me and to what really lights me up, right? What, what is it that you want to do when you wake up every morning, right? Recently, we've been faced with a lot of death in our family. My husband's grandmother passed away, then his dad and some other health issues in the family have been really eye-opening to show us, you know what? Our days are numbered. Spoiler alert, we all die. You know, and this isn't about death and we're not going to be all sad right now for a second, but it's a reality check that your days are numbered, whether they're long or short. Some people die as of a heart attack and instantly in a car accident or from COVID or from old age or cancer or a heart attack. And we don't like the word. I'm a God girl, you guys know. So I'm always talking about the word of God and I, I am a faith based person. So I have that faith based knowledge. And the whole point there is we just all know we are going to pass away. And what do we want to do with the gifts we've been given? Our time, our energy, our money, our knowledge, our abilities, our gifts, and our talents. And so this year, I do my In a Perfect World every single year, y'all. Like, what's In a Perfect World? Do you know what this is? This is the book, right? This is my author copy, right? But this is the book, Dream Big, Step Small, in Chapter 3. If you guys don't have the book, you can go to my website and get it. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Audible. I suggest the hardcover, the, the soft cover, because then you can actually write in it. There's to-do steps and there's some exercises. This is not just a read a book and it's not a reader and then you're all done. There's action steps, of course, because if you know me at all, I'm going to give you homework. I'm going to give you action steps. I'm going to make you do something with what you just learned, right? That's just my MO. That's what I do. And so in that book, I take my own advice too, by the way, you guys know that I coach myself and I have a coach and a mentor myself so that I can be the best for you. And I did my in a perfect world in the beginning of January and writing all this stuff down and I'm following my own advice and I whip my own book out and I write this stuff. What am I going to stop doing? What am I gonna start doing? What am I going to execute? How can I close the gap between where I'm on, where I am and where I wanted to be? And I had to take a really good hard look at 
what I'm doing. And I've spent the last 20 years be building e-commerce and building mommy income and teaching you guys how to do Amazon. And I am eternally grateful for the opportunity I've had to build a business from the ground up with no formal training. Y'all, I have a year of college before they kicked me out and a shoestring budget. I started my eBay business with no money and just like thrifting around what was in my house and then moved on to garage sale thrifting and climbed up the e-commerce ladder from there, the reseller ladder, if you will. And when I started my Amazon, when I decided to do Amazon and be like, I'm doing this book thing and I'm just going to do it. I had a hundred dollars to work with as a stay at home mom with small children, a hundred dollars to build this. And I've learned so much about building my Amazon business, about product creation and inventory management and listings and titles and trademarks and PPC and brands and hundreds more things. I've learned a lot about what you don't do. I've learned a lot about spending big money and wasting little money. One more time for the people in the back. When I say that, I always mean me. <laughs> and there's some of you guys too that weren't quite listening, but all of a sudden heard something intriguing. So they're like, wait, what'd she say? Let's rewind that. Spending big money and wasting little money. You know how much little money we waste? Oh, it's only $10 a month. It's only 50 bucks a month. It's only a one-time fee of $400. Big money, we really contemplate, right? $20,000 of inventory imported from China, taking three months to get here, tying it up for that long. Big decisions. I learned so much along this way that I wanted to teach, right? And that's when Mommy, Mommy Income was born, 2014, 10 years ago. I committed to bringing the best possible Amazon training that I could create to help others. I just wanted to help others do what I did and help grow their business because Amazon has truly changed my life. First of all, there wasn't a job of what I'm going to be when I grow up. This wasn't an option in 1998 when I graduated from high school and they forced me to go to college and try to pick something that I didn't know what I want to do with for the rest of my life and wasted a bunch of scholarship money and time and energy going, now that I took all my prerequisites, now what am I going to do with my life? I mean, Amazon has really, truly changed my life in so many ways. It's given me an opportunity to become an entrepreneur with hardly any startup money, just figuring it out and doing things that didn't work and then pivoting and changing. And as I grew my business and figured this stuff out and with the help of tons of others, never ever make the mistake of thinking that I'm some sort of self-made something. Absolutely not. I don't even believe that there's such thing as a self-made. No one is self-made. Everyone has had a helping hand. Everyone has had an advice or a movie or a song or a person or a mom or a dad or a mentor or a, a student or a colleague help them with something. So no one's self-made. I'm absolutely not self-made. I have been got here from tons of help from so many people. And the Amazon train is pressing on and sometimes stronger than ever, full steam ahead, full of opportunities and profits. But in my in a perfect world for this year, it didn't make the cut for me. This is my stop. So the Amazon train is still going, but this is where I'm going to get off. It's time for me to move on to other opportunities and adventures. What that interview with Amazon for me with their invitation to be part of their influencer, what is that called? Program, whatever they're calling it behind the scenes. I don't know. They wouldn't even talk to me until I signed their non-disclosure. And I wouldn't. At first, they were the squeaky wheel gets the grease. They knocked on my door a lot of times and consistently until I literally said either absolutely yes or absolutely no. And when I said maybe, they were knocking and knocking. They were still pursuing it. But what that showed me was something that I hadn't really thought about. I had just been keeping my head down, doing my Amazon business, teaching you guys all the things, answering your questions, making new trainings, doing coaching, all these things that I didn't realize that there was a lot of other exciting opportunities for me that I was letting pass by that I would really love because I'm still doing this and I want to serve the people in this way. And so with 2024 and looking at my eye uh, in a perfect world and wrestling through well, what do i do what am i really excited about and what do i want to move forward in because as life moves on and stages and ages and different seasons come in and out of our lives not everything is permanent and after 20 years of e-commerce, it's been the greatest 20 years. It's been so amazing to learn and grow as an entrepreneur and as a teacher and a coach and a leader. 
and I'd be doing you a disservice if I stayed here any longer. The Amazon train is amazing and it's so full of opportunity and money, but this is just where I'm getting off the train and I'm not going to leave you guys alone. I am going to, at the end of March, 2024, I'm exiting the Amazon industry, retiring, getting off the train, leaving the industry. And I just want everybody to know full transparency between me and you and everyone that's listening, that this is just an exciting time for me. I have so many other opportunities that I want to pursue. And it's really bittersweet because I've had the privilege of being your teacher and your leader and your co-worker, because that's really what I am. I'm working with you and alongside of you. My sleeves are just as rolled up as yours every single day. And as I'm growing and moving and changing through different stages, um, I've become less and less excited about creating bundles, but mostly creating training. I love creating bundles, actually. The product development side of what I do is probably my favorite thing. The creating of bundles, the research of bundles, the doing all that, I really love. That's about the biggest thing I love about my profession, my job, my career. But I realized that I love coaching and teaching and training even more than I love product creation. But what I, I've grown weary of is the same subject matter. I feel like my time here has just expired. I want you guys to have the most amazing leader, the most amazing coach that you can have. And so I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm actually working on a successor that's going to take over the wholesale bundle system and the trainings that we have and is going to be someone of integrity and someone who will lead you well someone that has excellent amazon credibility and very well acquainted and teaching amazon already and so what i'm doing here is i'm passing the torch so don't look at it as me leaving exiting there's no bad blood there's no negativity there's not a bunch of bad things that happened or anything like that it's just simply time for me to move on to other opportunities and i would be doing a disservice if i didn't because my excitement and my passion and my gifts and talents are moving in a different direction and so i'm super thrilled about that but i would be doing you a disservice if i just stayed here longer because i want to help I really do have a heart to help people and I want to help more people. And so to do that, I have to step out of the Amazon arena for a time and recalibrate. So that's what I'm going to be doing at the end of March. I'm not going to be producing any new content for Amazon. So am I leaving forever and unaccessible? No, I'm not doing that. But what I'm doing is I'm shifting my focus to um, things other than Amazon FBA. So there's a couple of things I need you to know. Number one, you definitely wanna bookmark next week's podcast episode because I'm going to introduce you to my successor, or I should say the individual that I'm passing the torch to that's going to take this amazing Amazon mommy income flock of Amazon sellers, and I'm going to give you a new leader. I'm going to send you to a new leader who's going to take really good care of you. I'd spend a lot of time and prayer and energy and interviews and phone calls about the who that might be stepping into uh, this role. And it hasn't been without a lot of thought and contemplation and planning. Uh, these things take a lot of time to plan. So the wholesale bundle system is still there. You're going to still have access to your trainings and you're still going to have access to wholesale bundles. And all of that stuff is still full steam ahead, reminding you that wholesale bundle system is brand new as of last year, 2023. All the material was brand new. So it's not, nothing's going away about it. As a matter of fact, I just yesterday had a meeting with a client who's already knocking it out of the park right now today. So what does this mean for mommy income students, for the wholesale bundle system, for bundles in general, where are you going to go to have questions and answers? We will give you all of that information next week on, on the last episode of the Amazon files, which will be next week. 
So stay tuned for that. I'm going to introduce you to the person that will be taking over and who we will be sending you to in a, as a, just a, a parting gift. But in the meantime, I jump off the Amazon train. I want to leave you with one final opportunity to learn from my 20 years of experience, because even though I'm retiring, it doesn't mean that all of this amazing experience and knowledge uh, with Amazon FBA is leaving with me. I'm going to leave it with you. That's what I'm going to do because it does me no good to keep it to myself and to carry it off into a future that doesn't include Amazon. So I'm opening my vault and releasing all of my training, including the wholesale bundle system for one, one final time. As I exit the industry, I want you guys to have all of the assets I've spent the last 10 years creating. They're awesome. They help people. They give you the answers you need and they give you the step-by-steps that you need to have the most successful Amazon business that you can have. Everything from learning how to wholesale, learning how to bundle, learning how to talk to vendors, creating your own trademark, knowing how to create your brand and your branded products, all of my coaching, every small mini training that I've ever created, all one time only, one final price, gone forever after this. So I won't leave you without a successor, someone that can fill the shoes of being a good coach and a good business mentor. And actually, I will still be here for non-Amazon business strategy sessions. So if one of you or any of you listening is moving on into a different business as well, I open up my coaching calendar for that, but I won't be coaching on Amazon or FBA related items after March 31st of 2024. When I leave and close my doors, mommy income is retiring. The whole company is I'm calling it a retirement. <laughs> uh, I don't know how else to put that. I've never actually had to retire from something before. So this is all new for me. So I appreciate your grace and your time and your energy and your questions. Some of them may or may not be answered. Um, there's some things that are proprietary that I can't tell you about right now. Um, things that are in the works and things that I'm moving towards. So there's going to be some blank empty space before there's something next for me and that's okay i I have somewhere to send you in order to stay connected with me personally so you don't have to be learning or listening to amazon to be able for us to be friends for us to be uh, internet friends here you can always go to kristenostrander.com and join our mailing list there and we will let you know what's coming up but right now we're under construction we're under review we're uh stay tuned right With that being said, I'm opening up all of my Amazon training for one final time for you to access and download and access the downloads until the end of the year. At that point, that's plenty of time to learn different things, to download them, to add the templates to your Google Drive and all the different things. So we are closing our doors at Mommy Income at the end of the month. And as I move on to these other opportunities, I'm not going to leave you without support or a good, strong leader that you can rely on and trust in. And I want you to be able to stay tuned because next week we're going to tell you who that is. But in the meantime... If you want to get the wholesale bundle system for the last time, and y'all, you're not going to believe it, but you're going to get the wholesale bundle system and all of the 65 assets, the 65 Amazon training library for $5.97. Last and final price last time. After that day, it goes away forever. I, that is so hard to say, to believe it or not. It took me a long while to get to the place where this is the decision I've made. So that doesn't come without a lot of thought and reflection and prayer and guidance from all angles. But I couldn't leave without giving you absolutely everything I have because I want you to succeed at whatever it is that you do. And since you do Amazon, most of you are doing Amazon, I'm just going to give you everything I've ever had and created because I'm leaving. There's no good. It does me no good to keep it and take it with me and keep it in a vault. That does me no good. I'm moving on from Amazon. But you're not. 
you're still here, still thriving, still making it work, still some of you are brand new and still trying to make it work. So I want to give you all of the assets that you can possibly get to set you up for success. And then next week, I'm going to introduce you to the person who I believe is going to be the shepherd, your leader, your teacher, your coach, who is well equipped to guide you, to be your coach, to um, help you with all of your Amazon questions, including bundling, including wholesale, including all the things that I'm teaching. So I want you to go to check out the offer for the last time, mommyincome.com forward slash retire. I know I'm going to get a little emotional here. <laughs> I didn't think I would. I thought I would not, but here I am. I'm a real human. I'm a real person with ups and downs and goods and bads and good decisions and better decisions and best decisions. None of them are easy decisions, but this is the good and right one. And I get emotional, not because I'm mad or sad or because this is a, a scary thing, but because it's hard to say goodbye. It's hard to leave something that's been a part of you, a part of your identity, part of your legacy, part of your journey, part of your career for 10 years, mommy income. And I'm so incredibly proud of what I've built. And I'm so incredibly proud of you guys for what you're building and what you have built. That will never, ever change. My desire to be part of the successes of other people is what I was created to do. It's just going to look a little different going forward. So again, this is that stay tuned. Make sure that you follow us at, at kristinostrander.com for whatever's coming in the future. Make sure that you're connected with our social media. Most of it is going to either transition to something new or it will be deleted altogether and then you'll have to find us one way or the other. But for now, that's what full transparency. This is my train stop. The train station is here. I'm getting off the train and the train is going to keep moving on and be awesome and go to all the other places it's going to go. And this is my stop. And so the best and easiest way for you to get all of the training that you need from Wholesale Bundles is to jump on the train right now. Because after March 31st, you won't be able to ever access you'll access it in the back end you'll have to access to it so don't think that's when it's going to go away and you have to hurry up and learn it all you will have access to it to all of 2024 so from now till the end of the year and even beyond if it's your asset you we will make sure it's available for you to have and keep as is I will no longer be producing anything new after March 31st. So you have just a couple of weeks here to uh, get the, the retirement package that we're offering at this point. Mommyincome.com forward slash retire. It includes the entire brand new Wholesale Bundle System 3.0 with 65 additional resources, videos, coaching sessions, recorded uh, group coaching sessions, bundle reviews, training from experts that we've only offered into our membership group before. We're opening the entire Amazon library for everyone to get their hands on before, before it's time for me to go. So I know a lot of you will probably have a lot of questions and you probably think, oh my gosh, I didn't see this coming or wasn't sure. That's okay. Like I'm here for you for that too as well. I'm pretty much an open book. There are certain things I'm, I'm not at liberty to share at this moment, but just know that this is coming from an amazing, deep, good place and that it's not anything wrong or bad with Amazon. It's simply me and my priorities and my excitements and my adventures and my opportunities are changing. And after a really deep, that that's something that the, Amazon influencer thing was something that literally could have been life-changing. Not that I haven't had life-changing things happen already, but that could have been, had I said yes to that, something that, that could have been really huge. But it wasn't in alignment with what uh, I wanted to do and what I saw my future vision as. And so saying no to that really did open my eyes to see what other opportunities am I missing out on uh, or that I could be enjoying and, and having a good time with. And so this gives me an opportunity to open my hands and see what else is out there for me. And in order to do that, we just had to, we had to put a finish line in front of us. 
And so March 31st is the finish line for mommy income and the wholesale bundle system as you see it today and how that's going to be. So we will not leave you without support. We will not leave you without a coach and without someone who's going to take really good care of you and answer your questions. And I will also be behind the scenes with that person, making sure that they get acquainted with all that we've offered at mommy income so they can take you into the future of Amazon with them as I move in a different direction. So I hope I've made that really crystal clear. I want you to know how much of a privilege it has been to me to be able to speak into your lives and to deposit success into your business and to give you the knowledge and the tools and the practical resources and the guidance and the encouragement and the confidence to build what you guys are building because you're still building those things. And I still want absolutely all of that for you. So it is not lost on me, the privilege that it has been to sit here with you every week and share my thoughts and give you the strategies and the tips and the help that you need to grow your business. So from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Without you, there's no Amazon files. There's no wholesale bundle system. It was all for you to begin with. And so I just thank you for that privilege. I want you to come back next week and hear about who the successor is going to be and how we're going to make this transition work for you as the students and for future students who want to grow their Amazon business with our new successor there. And so I'll give you a little bit of hint drops at that point too about maybe where you can find me in the future. And I hope you stay tuned for next week for the last and final episode of the Amazon Files. And I know you hear this every week, most of you, if you don't skip over this part by the end of the episode, because I always say it at the end of the episode, but I hope you that, that I know that there's 168 hours in your week, just like there is mine. And you could be any other place at any other time doing any other thing and i don't and never will and never have taken that for granted that you gave this hour or this half hour to me so thank you for the gift of serving you for the past 10 years stay tuned next week i'm going to let you know where you can come to follow us and stay tuned for that i'm going to introduce you to the successor of the mommy income company and i can't wait to introduce you to that person and let you know who what when where why and how so stay tuned make sure you mark your calendars for next week which will be the last and final episode of the amazon files thanks y'all we'll see you next week